I see you, champion. Sit. in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. So the old ones painted their faces. I tried, but it's impossible. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's one mission. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back alone in a cell again? Varl and I will be at Gemini. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight. The Zenus aren't going to... You don't have to be a... No! You can't protect me. I told you from the beginning we'll never- Beta. Leave me alone! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same- So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Don't you think I've thought about- I don't know what piece of Elizabeth- I don't know what you have that I- I look through all the data from your- You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what- What's my defect? Frances, I had him. Frost, 
He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on a mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Continuously, and despite the unpleasant circumstances, I am pleased to see you have both found. Well, two heads are better than one. Yes. I are you ready to depart for call, or we can continue our conversation? So she's been through so. You have both indifferent. I like to think of three then. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. 
Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Critical threat detected in narrative escape. Attempting to compensate. Containment. It's cracked. Look! defenses. neutralize. That means machines are on their way. You okay? Still breathing. Hey, Molly. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. I'll get the cracked core fixed in the meantime. Keep 
her safe. All my life. it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. I feel like I can. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of protection chamber. Festus is up to something, all right? What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding, too. most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. There should be a node you can override. Near the central platform. Thanks.
them all. I, I tapped into the core's network hub. I managed to disrupt Hephaestus' control of the node. You should be able to override again. Thanks. Thanks. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, I better not get comfortable. Great. Hephaestus covered the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy! More machines keep coming! Please tell me you're getting close! I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out! Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy!
there. No doubt that's restored. Now you can override it. Good work. You did that for lifting. Okay. Festus is running out of place to hide. Uh, Aloy? I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. I'm almost done with the core repair. Should... Should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No, Fish. Just stay where you are, okay? No more hiding, Hephaestus! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Is 100% contained. 
Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've 
shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. from my collection rescued and stored here just before I went off world done so soon I've got more important things to worry about There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta, in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. 
a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, I knew better. You, after your dramatic, Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gaped her. When the others were busy, I returned. That's when I found this little. Not easy to repair, but certain old. You were like a splash of color on a warm. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions, them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. So I should be grateful? If you like. So you know all about me. What would you like to know? Well? When I was eight, thousands drowned, my parents included. I, my guardian, among my peers, I was the strange girl all because of circumstances beyond. Oh. Aren't we? You are an outcast. But you didn't let that. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used first from the technical analysis, profitable expertise, but as it turned out, the soft. From there, it was only a short step. You were a spy? More like a service. One could turn. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably saw. What happened when Far Zenith approached? They painted an irresistible one where we need not, where we explored the furthest reach. It was only later that I re they only intended to bequeath this. By the time I finally figured, Faro's machines were devoured. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation. I wanted Liz to come, but she. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters? I, I knew some of... It wasn't until we were off-planet that I understood the truth. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless... They built a colony where machines, service, or fantasy could be endlessly safe. It wasn't life. It was still to... As the decades passed, I withdrew alone yet again. But this time with Eve, now finally having met you, to do what? Help you to fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't a better future. You said Beta is not in urgent danger. Putting her to work. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure they will compel her if need be. But her, she's the only one who can. Because you people made her to be nothing but a Gerard's ID. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted and That's why I created the data channel. Beta told me your colony that you came back to Earth because you had nowhere. It's true. 
After we reached our destination, a planet in this, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries, to think of what we could have done. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in cities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geolog. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, or estimated them. By the only a few of us made it to the ship, and we set course for Earth, left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more com only a blank slate to please us. But we will stop him. What exactly is your plan to We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction, a passage that only I can... When silence, we will enter through this back door, fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window. Once we're inside the base. Here in the command, by then Gaia will have been reunited with, including Hephaesta. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need. So this channel you shared with Beta. Gerard believes he's the most, even after a thousand years, he still can't. The channel allowed me to interact with, it offered us a chance. Until you cut off all contact. Yes, though it pained me. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would punish her. She may not have had the comforts of it, at least I ensured. You. I know it seems hard, but you must believe that her well-being Why did you make the data channel? I built this house as a safe place. Not just cultural artifacts, truly some of the greatest achievements. And you wanted Beta? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold. I thought if she could experience Vermeer, it would bring something else into her. A heritage every bit as valuable as this data being drummed. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll she needed its shelter. Even How do you know about something? He isn't the only one adept by where. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful. But his subordinate? He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of. The ones working with Regal. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most the distribution of override technology and the secret pact with Regala to attack. But how did he come up with a weapon that can- That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure But however he did it, with it, and the Tanakh army. Such a shame he'll be- Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro. What does she have to gain by it? It's the price she must pay without the ability to override machine or little rebellion. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, that blind spot is what will allow us. Well, hundreds of Tanakh died. So you knew. Elizabeth. Liz was everything she was. Your ingenuity, your determination. You've managed to distill her greatest qual- I'm not asking about me. The honest answer. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself. It was like- So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Not aloof. It was a summit in Paris about because regulatory authorities were just starting to Liz gave. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automation, but in her address, she was just starting to an AI driven system that would but actually take responsibility to care about life. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. I watched her after she had spoken with such moral authority, such and I could tell she felt uncomfortable. It was as if giving the talk had I didn't want to be a pest, so I... So how did you finally approach Elizabeth? I picked the right moment. Right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her call. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught colleagues. I asked if I could walk with, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. 
Her answer made me real, but she was very welcoming. Previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I was exactly who I was. It was quite my business was trafficking in secrets and anonymity. So that was Liz. Perpetually, I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our ship. She always seemed to know me, and I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. First far Now Hakoro and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Aragala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? is between me and my sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. 
Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. Erend, are you there? 